All right, like I mentioned yesterday, I had this uh, brand new Trinity Tops microfiber pad blow apart on me in the washing machine, almost like a blade cut. It's such an even cut. So I pulled it apart, and I've honestly have been using these kind of pads since they came out, however long it's been, a decade or more. And I was surprised to find that the glue was, or there's glue holding the pad to the microfibers. As these things wear, they, they clearly become separated inside there, and that's why, <coughs> excuse me, the early models, they put in this uh, target, two rows, and then there's another model with the pizza slices, and then Trinity went to this target pizza, and it keeps the foam in place as they oscillate. Otherwise, the foam comes loose, like, almost like the glue wasn't there, and it kind of wads up in the corner and makes for a really rough, uneven at, uh, application or operation, we'll call it. Anyhow, so I pulled out a piece of the foam, doing no damage on that side, a little bit on that side, and I have not tested this yet. This is uh, black coffee. Just wanted to see what it does. Uh, certainly soaking it up. I was just wondering if it was going to wick it up in a visible way. And let's see, we can ring out here. Um, let's try uh, one other thing here. Let's try pouring a little on there. It's definitely a spongy, well, it's more than it can handle there. Interesting. Let's see if we, yeah, there you go. That's what I was kind of hoping to see it, kind of moving, move it up the foam. So my theory is as you go over go over the dirty carpet, and I don't I don't like to go over more than five hundred feet of dirty carpet with one of these pads before I toss it in the wash bucket. I don't believe in flipping it because I think by the time you've oscillated and tamped it and done all that action, I think the foam's already full. It's not like it's gonna fill on halfway, right? So there's no point and trying to get a little bit of soil into the, the blue microfiber, which if you notice, if you use these things, the blue would never really looks dirty unless you're in an extremely gooey, filthy, nasty restaurant where you shouldn't be using this method anyways. Um, but I think at 500, you're done. And even that's pushing it on, on extreme soil. So pulled up all that coffee there. It's all in there. That's pretty good. Definitely holds some dirt. Got to make sure I grab the right cup when I take another sip. Anyhow, nothing scientific. I just wanted to see what kind of foam this was, how much it holds. Certainly holds quite a bit. Let me uh, cut another piece out and see what I can get. All right. Got a much bigger chunk. Dang, dropped it. There we go. A little bit of fiber stuck to it. Let's just try pouring it in. Keeps drizzling down the side. Need something better to pour it with. Let's see if we can absorb all of that into that piece. Sunday morning cartoons. This is like the old, uh, remember those conjunction function or whatever they were called? <laughs> Scientific experiment cartoons. It's not going to hold that much. Coming pretty close, huh? I got another video out there showing me sticking a, a well-used pad in a five-gallon bucket, maybe a gallon or so of water in there, two gallons maybe, and showing the water come out of that <clears throat> come out of that pad after sitting in there with some hot water, and water looks just like something that would come out of your truck mount for you hot water guys. I was almost, almost able to get all of that. 
But think about all the pads that we've used, the 3M pads, the two-way, uh, the cotton pads. That's a lot of soil in this. It, those pads, uh, soil and solution, we'll say, wouldn't hold on to. So that's, that's pretty considerable. Anyways, Sunday morning, wanted to get you thinking about uh, pad absorption. Some of my homies on Mikey's board are giving me a lot of crap over this. As, uh, I used to make foolish statements when I didn't quite understand, didn't understand, the uh, miraculous microfiber ability to absorb soil. So there you go. Keep on padding.